Hey Casters, Derek here, Big Six Clan. Today, we're gonna to be talking about trackables and I have a contest for you at the end. Stay tuned. So there are many different types of trackables. You can find them on cars, you can find them on dogs, you can find them just about anywhere. And what is really cool about trackables is that if you remember, a long time ago they used to have, and they still do it to this day, where you can take the serial code on the dollar bill or different money and you can go online and see where that has gone to if people have logged it. Well that's the same thing what a trackable is. So what I like doing is actually finding travel bug hotels, and that's what's right here behind me is a travel bug hotel, and putting my trades in that if I can't go to an event. So I've actually had several trackables for a while. Um, been wanting to get them going, but just haven't found suitable places. And I went into TB Hotel America, and I found that there's several different travel bug hotels, and I wanted to get these travel bugs in there. So this is a really cool cache right behind me, and uh, we are going to put, put some travel bugs inside this cache. Now, unfortunately, a lot of travel bugs disappear, and this cache actually said that they had two travel bugs in here, but they're not in here, which is not uncommon. It's one of those dangers that you go when you're actually putting travel bugs out here. But since this is a travel bug hotel and there's no travel bugs in it, I'm gonna go ahead and put a couple of travel bugs in here and see what happens, and I'm gonna show you how to log those travel bugs that I've dropped off. Okay, so there are many different apps that you can use to log your trackables when you find them. And you can use the standard geocaching.com app, or as I use, I use Cachely because I just really like the way it works. So what I can do, I can go into log cache, and then it pops up this other screen. And at the bottom of it, it says trackable drop visit. Well, I can click on that, and it shows me the trackable that I actually dropped, and I can click on it. I can do a log type, visited, dropped off on, the, on that as there. But then I can also go in and type a message, type my message in. I can come back, log type, and it can just say dropped off in cache. Then I can save it. Now, one thing that's really cool about Cachely is that if you see this little triple dot arrow up here, I can click on that and all the whole list, I can say they I dropped them all off or I all visited. Now that's really great if you have a lot of trackables that you're hunting just to visit. So that's really cool and that's one reason why I really like Cashly. Okay, so I've come to another travel bug hotel and this one is actually a premium travel bug hotel which is, as I've said in previous videos, is probably the best place to put travel bugs because those that pay to play uh, usually will keep them going. So this is a great place to drop a lot of travel bugs off. Now. I have already been in it, there's none in there, but I have a bunch of travel bugs that I'm actually gonna drop off because you can't have a travel bug hotel, like I've said before, without travel bugs. So let's drop these off and get this signed. So trackables are just another part of the geocaching game that's really fun to do. Now at a lot of different events, you'll see people going around with a notebook and through the parking lots because a lot of the cars will have trackables on them and they'll be logging those in. Now there's several ways to log those. First, the way I like to do it is I like using an app called TB Scan. Now it's available for iOS and Android, and I'm sure it's available for the others. But all you have to do is use your phone, and it uses your camera, and you can actually log that trackable code right there. Discover it, log it. Um, there's even other some app options in there where you can actually, if you need to, grab it. Now the other option, if you're getting a whole long list of them, um, I know you can go into Project GC and you go into where the trackables are there and you can put the whole long list of trackables in there to discover them that way all at one time. So that's a really great way. The trackables that you find in geocaches are meant to keep on moving. So don't keep it too long, keep it moving, help it to complete its mission. Now, earlier I mentioned that there's gonna be a contest. Now here it is, are you ready? All right, so throughout this video, there's actually been seven um, trackable codes that I've actually put up throughout the video. And if you find those trackable codes, I want you to put all your trackable the codes in an email and send it to me at Derek at BehindTheCache.com. And I'm actually going to 
randomly select one winner from that. And that winner, you're asking what are you gonna get? Well, why not a trackable? Now I have these trackables made, and here it is. And this is a trackable, and I am hiding the code so you can't get it because this is not one of the codes that you're looking for. But I got these trackables from a great vendor called Cool Geocaching Swag, and I have their information down below. Now, some of that information may not have been on the screen. It may be somewhere else on this post here on YouTube. Now, I will be posting a video on social media of the winner, announcing the winner, so you don't want to miss that. Now, thank you for joining me. I hope this has helped. If you have any other tips for trackables or any comments, please leave those down in the comments below. And remember, check out one of these other videos right over here and find out the story behind the cache.